hello friends welcome to my youtube channel on advanced excel in today's video we will see how we can use uh, max and min function along with if okay now in excel we have some if some if s count if count if s average if and average if uh, if uh, functions straightforward but as such there are no functions or there is no direct function uh, which is max if or max if s these two functions have been added in office uh, 365 so those of you who are using office uh, 365 you must be having those max if or max if uh, s function or uh, min if or min if s function but uh, as i am using excel 2010 i do not have those functions so we'll see how we can still integrate max with if and min with if okay so uh, again max and min they are uh, very straightforward function so these are my just values 1 to 10 so is equal to max this is what that max uh, function does it returns the largest value in the set of values and it it ignores logical values and text so when you are using max uh, this uh, it will ignore the logical values and text and it will simply return the largest value in the range of cells so max type i am selecting this range of cell we know the result it will be 10 okay and when it is min is equal to min min this is what uh, min does it does the same thing except for the fact it gives us uh, the smallest number in the set of values so min the result is going to be 1 okay so these are the two functions which are very straightforward function and as such there is no if or if s version of uh, this max and min but still we can integrate uh, if in with uh, max and if with min and we'll see in see that in today's example so i'm just deleting this now this is my challenge uh, we are having a set of uh, database where we are we are we have uh, this employee id then the position or a designation code that they have held and the effective date and from this uh, database we want to fetch the most recent position code with first effective date for each employee okay now before that supposing this uh, employee ids are not there and we are having this uh, employees ids which are appearing uh, on a repetitive basis so first we'll have to find the unique employee ids now before we go uh, to uh, this uh, finding out this unique uh, or uh, unique employee ids let me just show you what this database is all about so uh, if i am selecting position uh, employee id 1 now this employee number 1 he has held this 101 position two times in his lifetime then 392 position one time and he has held this 419 position three times okay so the most re recent position for employee id 1 is 419 and the first effective date of that position is 11th of august 2016 because this uh, 22nd of april 2019 and august 2019 they are bigger than this date so the uh, first effective effective date for position number 419 and for employee 1 is 11 august 16 and this is what we want to achieve over here using max if and min if that is using max with if and min with if so all d f s to uh, release the filters so first of all all d f f to remove filters altogether we'll copy this we'll copy this employee id control c I'm, I'm doing a special value and we'll simply go to data and we'll say remove duplicates column k okay okay and we'll sort this so it will give us one two three okay so control c i'm bringing it to uh, this employee id so these are my employee id now we want the most recent position code now we have seen that the most recent uh, recent position code are the numbers which are the biggest number in this particular position code list so i am simply using max but the problem is that we can see that uh, uh, these various positions can be held by more than one employee so here here it is say for employee id 2 employee id 2 has also held this position number or position code 419 on 3rd of june 19 okay so this one position can be held by two uh, two or more employees but we want a unique and the most recent position code for each and every employee id so we'll start with max 
okay but instead of straight away giving a max uh, in its uh, most uh, generic way i am going to integrate it with if and i'll say if and now we'll perform array operation and we'll say how many of these employee ids and hit a four straight away to lock it are equal to employee id 1 okay and i'll close parenthesis for if and i am closing parenthesis for max so basically what if is going to do is it will evaluate how many of these employee ids are is, are equal to 1 and if they are and and wherever it found true it will fetch the position code so if it is true i have to give uh, true values also and whenever it fetches true it will bring the maximum or uh, the biggest uh, recent position uh, amongst those the true values so i am pressing control shift and enter 419 Control C, Control V, Control V. So these are the individual most recent position code, which are the biggest number in this position code list for each and every individual employee ID. And now coming to effective date, we want the first effective date. Now we all know that uh, in Excel, even the dates are stored as numbers. So uh, the first effective date will be uh, a number which is lesser than the uh, other numbers. So I am going to use min here. And again, we'll do the same thing. We'll integrate if and we'll use array operation so min tab now in min we are going to use two conditions so basically we want the first effective date for position code 419 for employee id 1 so we are using and condition as such but we'll write if two times so min and say if again uh, array operation so how many of you are equal to 1 and will not stop we'll ask another logical question if how many of these position codes afford to fix it is equal to 419 and if both these conditions are satisfied we'll say give us this effective date and putting f4 again and we'll close parenthesis for if again we'll close parenthesis for that first if and we'll close parenthesis for min i think things are looking fine control shift and enter here it is control c control v control v so let's now check out for uh, this uh, position num uh, this employee code 2 2 so in this uh, case of employee id 2 the latest position is uh, position number 788 but you can see that uh, he has held that position on 15th of jan 17 and 15th of jan 18 so our result is 15th of jan 17 because that is the start date for position number 788 okay also just let's do it for uh, employee employee id 3 employee id 3 enter so for employee id 3 the latest uh, uh, position number is uh, 636 and again he has held that position two times for one, uh, one he held he has held that position on 4th of uh, july 16 and again on 19th of june 17 so the first effective date is 4th of july 16 so this is how you can integrate uh, if with max and min and uh, let me show you in a slow motion how all this uh, thing works so i have i have this sheet where i have I am um, explaining you the slow motion for employee ID 1. So in the first, uh, in, as a first condition what we did was we arrived at this position code uh, for uh, biggest position code for employee ID 1. So this is a true and false just to see whether that particular uh, uh, employee ID is 1 or not. So it is giving me a bunch of true and false which I have converted into 1s and zeros. Then these are the positions uh, uh, that uh, we have held. So uh, uh, say 101, 116 and 419. And this is the result. So it is basically true multiply by 101 or say 0 multiply by 116 and so on. So we are having this 15 results. And out of that which is the maximum or which is for that uh, uh, this uh, most recent position. So 419. So this is the first stretch. In the second stretch what we have done is we have tried to ascertain not just that that position number has to be uh, that 419 or something that employee ha employee code also has to be 1 so that we have ascertained then 
we are having this date and then again what we have done is whether this particular uh, twos and four uh, uh, or fall multiply by this particular date so it is giving me giving us zero and all this stuff and wherever you are having employee code one it has uh, procured that uh, result for us and out of those dates uh, what is the date which is the least or which is the minimum which is 11th of august 2016 so friends this is how you can use max and min along with if so even if uh, we do not have a maxi for uh, min if uh, s functions uh, in uh, excel 2010 uh, and we are having it only in office 2065 still you can do it and integrate it with uh, uh, max and min and uh, also use that uh, array facility so to have your results so friends this brings me to this end of this video if you have not subscribed to my channel do subscribe and also hit that bell icon to get uh, future updates and i am sharing a link of uh, this downloadable file in my description box take care bye bye